Mahamati. There are two kinds of the view of an individual personality. That is, one, the inborn one, and two, the one due to the false imagination. It is like the relation between the relativity view and the false imagination of the three svapaafas. For instance, Mahamati, depending on the relativity view of things, there arise varieties of attachments to the false imagination. But this existence is neither a being nor a non-being, nor a being and non-being. It is not a reality because of the false imagination. And being discriminated by the ignorant assumes varieties of individual signs to which they are strongly attached, just as the deer does to a mirage. Mahamati, this is the view of an individual personality falsely imagined by the stream entered, which has been accumulated for a long time by their ignorance and attachment. This is destroyed when the egolessness of a person is attained by which the clinging ceases. Mahamati, the inborn view of an individual personality as held by the stream entered is destroyed in this way. When this body, which belongs equally to each of us, is concerned, it is perceived that it consists of form and the other four skandhas, that form takes its rise from the elements and their belongings, that the elements are mutually conditioning, and that hence there is no aggregate known as form. When thus the stream entered realized that the idea of being and non-being is a partial view of truth, the view of individual personality is destroyed. When the view of individual personality is thus destroyed, covetousness will never assert itself. This, Mahamati, is what characterizes the view of individual personality. Again, Mahamati, as regards the nature of doubt, when the Dharma is attained and realized and thoroughly understood as to its characteristics, and when the twofold view of individual personality is destroyed as previously described, no doubt is cherished in the teaching of the Buddhas. And there is no thought in the minds of the stream entered to follow the lead of any other teacher because of the difference between purity and non-purity. This, Mahamati, is what is meant by doubt discarded by the stream entered. Again, Mahamati, how is it that the stream entered do not hold themselves to the morality? They do not because they clearly see into the nature of suffering wherever they may be reborn. What is meant by the holding? Mahamati, that the ignorant and simple-minded observe the rules of morality piety and penance is because they desire thereby to attain worldly enjoyments and happiness. They cherish the hope of being born in agreeable conditions. And the stream entered do not hold to the rules of morality, for their thoughts are turning only toward the exalted state of self-realization. And the reason why they devote themselves to the details of morality is that they wish to master such truths as are in conformity with non-discrimination and undefiled outflows. This, Mahamate, is the way in which the stream-entered ones hold to morality and piety. Mahamate, by thus breaking up the three knots, the stream-entered will discard covetousness, anger, and folly. 